16 Wisconsin lawmakers are urging Governor Tony Evers to fire Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm. The DA is facing criticism for how his office handled bail for Daryl Brooks before the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. Our political reporter Jason Calvi is once again asking the questions. There are six people that are dead. There are 60 people who are injured because of his reckless decision. Days before the Waukesha Christmas attack, Daryl Brooks was let out on bail after being accused of trying to run over his child's mother. Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm on Thursday placed blame for the thousand hour bail on an assistant. He had a, a young ADA trying to do the very best she could under really difficult circumstances and she made a mistake. We don't elect assistant district attorneys, we elect district attorneys. He's in charge of the office. It's his responsibility. The buck stops on his desk. Do you think he should resign based on what you know? We have a process. We have a process. Simple. I get a letter from somebody from the county requesting that process be initiated. I will initiate it. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers points to state law. It says a district attorney may be removed by the governor for cause. It requires verified charges by a taxpayer of that jurisdiction, which the governor's office says hasn't happened. The legislature itself has the power to remove Chisholm from his office here in Milwaukee County through the power of impeachment. Why put this on the governor when you have the power of impeachment? One step at a time. Um, I think the process of having the governor fire the DA would be much quicker and simpler and would allow us all to move on much more rapidly. Chisholm on Thursday brushed aside calls to resign. The obligation I have is to lead my people so they can continue doing the work they have to do every single day, which is trying to keep people safe. In Milwaukee County, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.